Imagine being in a desert where temperatures soar well above 100 degrees Fahrenheit in a building with no air conditioning and having to concentrate and study. You're probably thinking it would be impossible to focus at all, let alone actually feel cool. But that's exactly what this award-winning school building is able to do. It can stay cool without a single air conditioner. And they're doing it with some very interesting design principles. Intrigued? Well, let's dive in. There are three really crucial design elements that we're going to break down in this video. And we are saving the best till last, so make sure to stay to the end because we'll be explaining how this school uses a natural AC system without any electricity. The Rajakumari Ratnavati Girl School isn't just any school, it's an architectural marvel. It's self-sustainable, it harvests rainwater and uses solar panels for its electricity needs. The school's location is surrounded by sand dunes in the middle of the Thar Desert, one of the hottest deserts in the world, also known as the Great Indian Desert, where temperatures can soar up to 50 degrees Celsius or 120 Fahrenheit at the height of summer. So designing a comfortable learning space can be challenging in the heart of the Thar Desert, where climate change is making heat and drought more extreme. Another challenge is the budget of the build, since the project is funded by the non-profit CETA, they had to keep the cost down. The nearest town to the school is known as Jaisalmer. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It's known as the Golden City for its array of yellow sandstone architecture. The architect behind the girls' school, Diana Kellogg, who worked on the project for free, visited Jaisalmer and was so inspired by the local architecture and ingenious cooling techniques that she used all of them in this contemporary design proving that modern construction can also be sustainable. Kellogg stated that the temperatures at the school are approximately 20 to 30 degrees Fahrenheit lower than outside. So let's find out how it works so effectively. First up, the school's design is inspired by traditional Indian architecture. The main building material used for the school is sandstone and it's abundant in Jaisalmer. There are local talented stonemasons who know how to work with it and the material actually keeps the heat out and the coolness out at night. Using thick, large bricks used to be a common technique in many places in the world. Almost all cultures have used stone in their architecture for its durability against the weather, be it extreme heat or cold. The Egyptian pyramids are one of the most famous examples. Huge sandstone bricks have also been commonly used throughout Britain. This type of architectural material is being used a lot less due to the fact that it requires skilled labor that makes it much more costly. Cooling technique number two uses some very simple techniques that are still being used today. One issue that buildings have when it comes to heat is windows. Depending on the direction they face, too much direct sunlight can enter, heating up the room and the building. So windows are strategically placed to allow maximum airflow, creating a natural ventilation system. Cross ventilation can be really effective, but when temperatures are reaching 100 Fahrenheit, is it really enough? Well, it definitely wouldn't be if direct sunlight was constantly entering the classrooms. That's why these overhangs are really important. Because during the hottest part of the day, when the sun is really high in the sky, the overhang creates some shade and protection. And these very small windows let some natural light in, but not too much. High windows also allow hot air to escape from the ceiling where it otherwise would get trapped. The use of overhangs have been used all over the world for quite some time now, not just for aesthetic purposes, but for the very practical use of shading direct sunlight. Some of the oldest buildings with them are in India, Tibet and Japan, and also in the old 15th century English houses. American colonial architecture used them as well, and they are so effective that they're still incorporated in modern designs. Using natural ventilation techniques can be a lot healthier for students. Modern AC systems can circulate mold and bacteria. Coming up, we will explain how this school uses a system that is said to be similar to an air conditioner that allows the girls at this school 
to enjoy cool fresh air. Giving them the best possible working environment, setting them up for a bright future to get a career which was not previously available to them. Are you looking for a job or a changing career that lets you work from anywhere and increase your income? Education is the most important investment anyone can make for their future. And studying doesn't have to cost hundreds and thousands of dollars. It's still possible to get a higher paying job that lets you work from anywhere by graduating with the skills needed at a fraction of the cost. Tech is still one of the highest paying industries and you can start your career in tech at Triple Ten Boot Camp. They offer flexible beginner friendly programs with the highest graduation and employment rates in the industry. I'm most interested in the software engineering and business analytics programs. But since I couldn't decide between the two, I went through this career quiz. My results came back as most suited to software engineering. And I was surprised it can actually lead to a six figure income in just a couple of years. If you're also unsure about your career path, even after taking the quiz, Triple Ten also offer a free consultation call. What's great is they have flexible payment options and a money back guarantee. Improve your career. Use my code LIFE for 30% off all programs and click the link in the description or scan the QR code for a free career consultation. Cooling technique number three uses ancient ingenuity to create an effect that's similar to an air conditioning system, which is inspired by an ancient Indian architectural technique known as Jali wall. It's also known as a lattice wall, which uses a grid pattern that can vary in design. The design is cut out of the stone, having multiple small openings like this, which actually allows wind to accelerate. It's a phenomenon known as the Venturi effect. This is when air flows at higher speed as it circulates through a narrower passage. It creates a negative pressure in the process, causing a partial vacuum. In the case of the Jali, the air is compressed and when released, it becomes cooler, similar to how an air conditioner compresses air. In traditional Jali, the holes are almost exactly the same size as the thickness of the marble or sandstone. This thickness works to reduce the direct glare of sunlight while allowing diffused illumination. When air passes through holes, it picks up velocity and penetrates afar. Due to the small apertures, air gets compressed and when released, it gets cooler. Lattice facades are being used a lot in modern architecture because they reduce the load on energy consuming air conditioners. For example, the Albar Towers, which sit in the intense desert sunshine of Abu Dhabi, have a kinetic facade. The facade covers the glass windows and it's an intelligent facade this means it opens and closes depending on the temperature. The jelly walls also cool the courtyard space whilst also providing shade from the sun. High ceilings and windows release rising heat in the classrooms while a solar panel canopy provides shade and energy. The structure, which is angled in relation to the prevailing winds, has an elliptical shape chosen for its ability to capture and circulate cool air. Air conditioning isn't used anywhere in the building, not just because of its environmental impact, but because it isn't common in the area. The contractor assigned for the construction of the building, Karim Khan, says that the courtyard water harvesting system complex, it can harvest and store 3,500 litres of water. If you found the cooling techniques for this building interesting, you should check out these cooling towers. They are also said to be similar to a natural air conditioning system, but they use a slightly different technique to the jelly walls. Dome architecture might interest you as well, since they have a very practical use that keeps buildings cooler. You can find out more about them from these videos here. Thanks for watching.